So, Pastor Raffin, I know that we're here to celebrate a great, great man of God. And looking at Pastor Kathy, looking at Reverend Kathy, yeah. you can see that this is a woman that God has called because of all the experiences that mm. they've had together, which are so tangible because we were witnessing those yeah. experiences. I, I don't know what you think, but I feel like mm. there is there is something that the Lord, it's like uh, uh, olives that are being crushed. Mm. You know, when uh, olives are crushed, the oil begins mm. to, 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 to be released. So when there is a crushing, mm. there is also a release of glory. And for me, what I see and what I would like to encourage the body of Christ is that there is a release. Mm. There is a release of fresh oil even out of this, as much as it seems like it's a crushing, but it's a crushing that is producing fresh oil. And so let's just be encouraged. Uh, we, we are here to encourage the family. We are here to encourage Vanessa, Jeremy, Stephanie, and the grandchildren. We're here to encourage Mama and to say that the Lord is with you. He is your strong help. Mm -hmm. Even in this season, He is your strong help. As I was coming in the morning, I just found myself praying in the car. I was just telling the Lord, you're always near to the brokenhearted. May they begin to feel you in their emptiness. Because, yeah. you know, there's an empty space. That's for sure. Yeah. There's an emptiness that mm. has come over them. But we are praying that the Spirit of God will fill up that space. Amen. That they will not feel that emptiness for a long mm. time. Amen. You know, um, I've had such a wonderful encounter with my bishop. And uh, he, I, I joined him when I was 18 years. I was an 18-year-old boy straight uh, from high school, wow. and uh, his ministry has had such a great impact on my life. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, when I got saved in high school, uh, it's a team from JCC that had yeah. come to preach in our high school. I, I went to high school in Kanunga in Kiambu, mm. and a bishop had sent a team to our school. Yeah. And uh, I gave my life to Jesus. Yeah, that, that's like in 2005. Right. Then exactly in 2006, we were invited and we came and joined the ch teens church. Mm. And the first time I saw him, I knew exactly what I wanted to become. Mm. You know, uh, there's a story that uh, Bishop Jakes uh, shared uh, in one of the messages. Yeah. And he was saying that one day he was uh, in his uh, bathroom yeah. and uh, his son came in. Yeah. And uh, he was standing in front of the mirror in the bathroom and uh, he was uh, shaving his beard. Mm. And so the boy was also crying, give me my own as well. I want to shave mine. Right. And the bishop said something so powerful. He said <clears throat> that when he looked into the mirror, mm. he saw who he used to be. Many people, when they look into the mirror, there is a blank. Yes. Because they don't see many young men, many boys, when they look into the mirror, there's nothing to see. Yeah. And so I, I grew up from that kind of a background. You know, my, I lost my father when I was uh, seven years, my biological father when I was seven years. Mm. I grew up in a children's home. And wow. therefore, I've never had a father. I've, yeah. never, uh, I've never looked into the mirror and saw what I was supposed to be. Yeah. But when I saw him in mm. 2006 in Gara, yeah. I knew exactly what I wanted to be. Right. I knew exactly who I wanted to be. Mm. And I believe that is the story for a majority of the people. Yes. Uh, many people who came from dysfunctional backgrounds, many people who came from broken homes, yes. they were able to look at a bishop and see exactly mm. uh, what they were supposed to, you know, what, what they were expected to become. Right. And uh, everything about my life, I, I, I have modeled it around what I have seen in Bishop. Right. Bishop was such a good man. Amen. And, uh, you know, the, the, uh, it doesn't matter what uh, people say yeah. out there. <clears throat> yeah. But let me tell you, anybody that encountered Bishop, yeah. you can, he was such True. a good man. True. I remember um, uh, some, some time back, some few years ago, I got into a relationship. Mm -hmm. And I remember I went and shared with mom, and mom was very excited for me. She was like, oh my gosh, yeah. oh, go bring her. Yeah. Oh, how did you get that one? Yeah. Yeah. And then she told me, I'm, I'm going to tell dad. Yeah. When she went and told dad, yeah. dad was not excited. <laughs> <laughs> dad was not excited about it. Yeah. He was not. Yeah. And he started looking for me. Wow. And when we met, yeah. he told me, who am I? Who am I to you? Wow. And I said, you're my father. Yes. He asked me, do you trust me? Yeah. I told him, yes, dad, I trust you. Yeah. He told me, I don't think that's the one. Oh, my God. And, uh, and, uh, and I was like, dad, but you, well, then can we organize? Yeah. I bring her, mm -hmm. you meet her. Yes. And you know what Bishop told me? 
Yeah. I don't even need, I don't need to meet her. Yeah. We don't know people after the flesh. Yeah. We know people after the spirit. spirit Imagine right. that is what he told me. He said, I, I don't, don't need to meet her. I don't need to meet her. Yes. We know people after the spirit. Yes. Uh, now, let me tell you, eh? the kind of a heartbreak I... I, I <laughs> the kind of a heartbreak, heartbreak. I, I, I went through after yes. that. Yes. I, I realized why God used him yes. to protect me yes. from that bad decision oh, that I had made in terms okay. of relationship. So later on, you had a heartbreak. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, oh I was left with a prophetic after, one after being warned by Bishop. <laughs> yes, yes. I was left with a prophetic word. Let yes, me tell you, yes. over tea. Make sure that you see me. So I'll give you the thing, story. Let me tell you. So you know, people try to speak a lot about why we shouldn't have fathers. Oh, I don't know what. There's a lot of things about fatherhood, but you mm. see. You embraced him as yeah. your father because you father. heard a gap in your life. Yes. And you knew you needed fatherhood. And that's the same case with me oh, yeah. because I've also lost my father. I lost mm. my father in 2020. Mm. And I can tell you that there's such a gap that is left that if you don't find a man on the earth mm. to fill up the gap, mm. you know, people have such a problem to call others fathers. But I believe that most of those people have not experienced the love of the father. No, no. And if you encountered Bishop, yeah. you would encounter the love of a father. Do you, know, do you know, the last time we were here, mm. uh, you know, during that celebration, yeah. and I went, to, I went to just give him a seat, you know, yeah. because I was celebrating a man who, mm. you know, is working with God, yeah. and God had sustained him mm. even in the time when he was unwell. Yeah. And I knelt down, and he said, no, 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 stand up. Yeah. You're a great woman of God. I've been watching you on TV. I wow. said, watching me? Wow. Yes, I've been watching your program, Balm mm. of Gilead on Elevate TV. Mm. I was surprised mm. because this is a man of stature. Yeah. How does he get time to watch somebody like me? Yeah. Not that I despise myself, but that shows the level of humility yeah. that the man of God heard. And this is something that we cannot erase out of the memories because... If you listen to all the stories, most of the people that he has raised, uh, I have had the pleasure to sit down with them. Mm. But many of them are people that will confess that Bishop picked them up from the pit. Yeah. Bishop picked them up from the trenches. Yeah. Bishop washed them, yeah. for lack of better words. Mm. He cleaned them up, yeah. gave them suits, gave them shoes, gave them a name. Yeah. How do we then negate the importance mm. of having a father? Mm. How do we negate the importance of having a person of that caliber mm. as a mentor? What I'd like to say is that, let me tell you, no mm. matter what people say, mm. you got to identify yourself with a father. Sure. With somebody that will say, son, you're taking the wrong direction. As much as God is our father, mm. but God is in the spirit. Yeah. yeah God is yeah. in the spirit. So on the earth, there are people who will be like signposts for yes. us. And Bishop was a signpost for Epic. many. Totally Bishop agree. was a signpost. Epitome of those people we actually call mentors mm. because of the kind of people that came to him and how they were transformed. And personally, I'd like to say that there is impact that Bishop has left in the hearts of many, young and old. Yeah. Even old men called him father. Yeah. It's yeah. not just young men. Yeah. The yeah. other day I was, um, you know, I was at home during the Mombolezi. Yeah. And there were some older men that came. Yeah. And they were talking about how Bishop took them to school. And wow. at the same time, yeah. he was paying school fees for their children. Bishop was paying school fees for them. <laughs> and he was at the same time paying school fees for their children. And who, who can do such things apart from one who the Spirit of God is on mm. him. Because uh, Isaiah 61 says, the Spirit of God is upon me to do yeah. what? He has anointed me. He has anointed me mm. to even bring good news to the poor. Yeah. So in other words, Bishop is one person that God released into the earth for a specific purpose. And that mm. was to change people's lives, to break the hold of poverty, yeah. to broke the hold of where you came from. Yeah. The Bible says that God lifts us up from the ash heap mm. and sits us with princes. Yeah. Bishop lifted men from the aship, mm. from yes, the garbage. That's what he's done. Yes. Right? That's what he's done for a majority of us. Yes, and so let me tell you, as the body of Christ, we have to celebrate. Yeah. We have to celebrate. You know, um, what is coming to my man, Pastor Raffian? Yeah. That when John the Baptist came into the scene, he yeah. came to do what? To prepare the way. The way. Mm. And Bishop is like a John the Baptist kind mm. of man. Mm. He came to prepare the way. Yeah. 
you understand? He had such an anointing that he broke so many limitations yeah. for the sake of his personal family, the family yeah. around him, yeah. and also for the sake of the body. Some of us will enjoy the benefits oh, yeah. of what this man had to deal with. We don't have to fight the same battles. We, don't we have just to. enter into his labors. I am telling you. We enter wow. into his labors. Come on, go ahead. Yeah, so the, the pictures on the screen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is the uh, is the cottage as it has left uh, a Lee funeral home, yeah. and then also the pictures that are coming to you. Also, is the venue of the burial that is on Kiambu Road. Yeah. Uh, we are behind a Quick Mart a supermarket, mm. and uh, you know just there when you are getting to uh, Quick Mart where the the supermarket begins, uh, that is where you you turn. And then you take your the first right turn. You'll drive right ahead, yeah. and then that is where the service is going to be. Mm. Everything is good. Security is good. Uh, you know what to mambo ile ingine. But you can be able to can come here. It. Security is good. Everything yeah. is amazing, and uh, we will be more than happy to have you here as we celebrate the life of our father. So there's uh, the pictures on the screen right now mm. is the body as it leaves uh, uh, leave the funeral home, home. Yeah. and. Uh, the the service is going to begin in not so long uh, here on Kiambu Road. So you can be able to make your way here. Karibuni sana wote. And I know that God is going to bless you in the name of Jesus. This morning when I woke up, I went to Lee. Yeah. And I, I had an opportunity to view the body even before the family and everybody. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> when I, I, I looked at the body, Bishop was not there. That, that, that's not Bishop. Right. He's not there. That is yes. the, the, container the, the container that container. that carried him. That's right. And so even today, as we celebrate, yeah. uh, we ought to carry the memories, the amazing memories yes. and uh, of the impact of Bishop on our lives. Yes. And uh, it's a beautiful day to just celebrate and uh, give glory to God because of the life of a great man that uh, has lived. So, ladies and gentlemen, we continue the pictures on your screen. Right now is... Uh, is the cottage it has already left uh, Lee funeral home and uh, in not so long we, they are going to arrive here at the venue again uh, for those that are wondering where the barrio and the ceremony is going to be yeah. we are at Kiambu Road uh, right behind uh, uh, Quick Mart supermarket uh, when you get there just where the building of the supermarket begins yeah. there, there's a, a right turn a left turn there and then you take the first right turn and you are going to be at the venue the security is very tight there is ample parking there is enough space for all of us there is a seat for you some of the pictures that are coming on the screen they are coming direct right here from the uh, venue that is uh, on Campbell Road right behind uh, Quick Mart supermarket. supermarket. Uh, this is what we call uh, JCC Paradise. Paradise. Yeah. And you know you need to take some time as well even as we just wait for this service to begin, we need to take some time right now and begin to reflect on the impact of this man. Yeah. Because you know the Bible says better to be in the house of mourning than yeah. to be in the house of feasting. Yeah. Why? Because it gives you an opportunity to reflect. It gives you an opportunity to look into your life. It's yep. to introspect. Yeah. So take time right now. Look at the life of Bishop Alan Kuhner mm. and begin to reflect on the impact this man has made globally. Yep. Then reflect on your own life. Yep. Ask yourself questions because that's what we come to do in a house of mourning. Yep. We come to mourn with those who mourn because that's what the Bible commands us to do. Yep. We rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. Yep. Take some time right now and maybe silently just make a prayer. Yep. Reverend Kathy Kuhner and her children desperately need our prayers at this opportunity. Yeah. So as you reflect, say a silent prayer. Yeah. Talk to the Lord, talk to the Father, mm -hmm. and, and just lift up Reverend Kathy before the throne of God as you speak a word yeah. that would strengthen her because that's what this family needs right now. You see, for so many people, maybe their morning will end today. Uh -huh. yeah. But it is not so for the JCC fraternity. No. It is not so for those who are very close to him. It is not so for his relatives, his, you know, his sisters, his brothers. Yeah. It, it is not so for them. So 
let us just begin to speak a prayer over them, release a word in the atmosphere that would comfort them. Remember that the Lord has entrusted us to be watchmen. Yeah. And so even as we have come to this place, we haven't just come to be spectators. We have come as intercessors. We have come as watchmen. We have come as people who carry the Spirit of God. Yeah. You know, Pastor Raphael, the Bible says, blessed is he who shows mercy. Yeah. So as we show them mercy, Mercy is released back to us. Yes. So we are also sowing a seed in terms of how we are praying with them. You know, I'm just thinking about the many times that Reverend Cuthie mm. used to be such a supporter of Bishop. Yeah, yeah. You know, every time you came for DOZ, yeah. Reverend Cuthie wouldn't start preaching mm. unless she speaks of Bishop. Yeah. Unless she talks of how this man is the reason she stu stands on that stage. Yeah. And that tells you that this woman of God honored her husband. Mm. Yeah. This woman of God honored her husband. Yeah. And you know, as much as people are criticizing this, as much as people are criticizing her, yeah. that doesn't matter right now. Because we who are of spiritual minds, yeah. we understand that she gave us a template for marriage. Yeah. She gave us a model for marriage. She, the Bible says the older women must teach the young women mm. on how they need to carry themselves, yeah. on how they need to conduct themselves. Yeah. Personally, Pastor Raffian, yeah. it comes from him yeah. because he was an honor. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the pictures you are watching on the screen right now is the body of our father and our being will be happening. Right. We are right here on Kiambu Road, right behind Quickman Supermarket. And uh, you can be able to make it here and God is going to bless you. You know, uh, talking about uh, mom, yeah. I remember there is a day. Uh, that uh, Bishop went uh, went with me to uh, to his house, yes. and uh, on that particular day, it is Mom that had preached during the service, Correct. and Mom was on fire. Yes. I think she was uh, she was teaching about uh, the different heart conditions mm. that people have. She was talking about uh, issues of the heart, right. and she was mentioning very difficult uh, uh, medical terms yes. as she was uh, trying to communicate Cardi the message. Yeah, uh, she was speaking issues. big things, you know, big, yes. <laughs> big yes. things, you know. Yeah. And then after the service, yeah. uh, Bishop told me, "Son, we are, we are going home. Eh? We are going home." And uh, he told Pastor Kathy, uh, "Babe, we are we are going home with Pastor Rafi." Yeah. And when we got home, yeah. uh, by the time we got to the house, mom and uh, in still wearing her dress, the dress that she was wearing when she was preaching. Yes. Do you know she removed her shoes right at the door and went straight to the kitchen? Wow. Straight. I mean, wow. she walked straight into the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yes. We sat somewhere with Bishop and uh, in a short while, she yeah. came to serve us. Now, what was amazing for me is yeah. that she came with water. Mm -hmm. and washed uh, Bishop's hands. Yes. And then she came to wash my hands. Mm -hmm. And I said, Mom, no, you, you can't do that. Right. You can't do that. Let me go to the sink. And she told me, son, shut up. Yeah. When you're here, yes. you are Bishop's guest. Right. You are my husband's wow. guest. Wow. And I'm like, wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so she's still I, didn't, I didn't her. want her to wash my hands because I felt yes. you're my mother. But when we go home, she told me, straight. She told me, shut up, my son. Mm. You, when you are here, mm. you are my husband's guest. Powerful. And it is my responsibility to serve my husband and to serve uh, guest. his guests. Yes. I mean, and, and, and what came into my mind, yeah. uh, you know, talking about mom, yeah. is that whatever you hear her say on the altar, is what she is, even in the it secret. is exactly what you get in the secret. I and, believe that. And I'm telling you, we didn't just go once. Yeah. When we went the next time, I thought maybe it was just, uh, you know, it was uh, just uh, opening remarks. Mm. You know, maybe she was doing it for the first time. Right. But when I went back again after some time, yeah. she did exactly the same thing. Mm. So whatever you hear mom saying, yeah. whatever you see mom, you know, you, you hear mom preaching, right. that is exactly who she is. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have an amazing example in our mom and in our dad right. that we can be able to emulate. So, mm. the pictures that are on the screen right now, as people continue to settle, you know, people are still flocking in and people are still yeah, streaming in, you know, people are still coming in yeah. and uh, we just want to encourage you to, to keep settling down yeah. because in a short while, uh, you know, the body of our daddy is going to be here, yeah. the clergy is going to be here mm. and the ceremony is going to begin. Actually, there's lots of, uh, I see a lot of uh, um, men and women of God 
that have made their way to this place. Yep. So if you're still at home wondering if I should get there or not, yep. there's still an opportunity. Yep. The seats are not yet full. Oh, yeah. Please, okay. let's come, let's celebrate together. Yeah. Let's <laughs> join hands and, uh, and just uphold the woman of God, yeah. even as the body of Christ and the clergy. Yeah. You, know, you know, it's only in your time of need yeah. that you begin to realize mm. who is who. Yeah. And uh, I believe that this is a time when many people who loved Bishop and still love him, because yeah. we cannot speak in the past tense about no, no, no. this man. Yeah, yeah. This is an opportunity to just, you know, be there for him. Yeah. Because he was there for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The media does not know that, Pastor yeah. Raffian. Yeah. They don't know that. For them, they have another picture. Mm -hmm. But for the people who are inside, the yeah. people who are within, mm -hmm. the people that he carried on his laps, and nurtured and raised. It's a different story altogether. Bishop was a giver. Mm -hmm. Bishop was also a sower. Mm -hmm. Bishop was a man that loved people. Yeah. And from even what we saw the other day at yeah. Femme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Femme was packed. Completely. It was totally packed. And it's, is it an 8,000 seater? Uh, and and uh, you know there was an overflow. It was, there was an there overflow. Was a tent outside. Yes. People were packed in the inside. Yes. And uh, others were also, you know, seated outside there in the tent. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, even the way he has been celebrated across the world, yeah. uh, it just shows the kind of impact uh, our father has had uh, around the world. That's There's true. something that you have mentioned about the media. Yeah. And uh, I need to say that, uh, you know, it's not everyone in the media. Yes. Uh, most of the people in the media, they celebrate Bishop because they know him. That's true. It's just a few, uh, you know, young fellows uh, yes. that have come up some few days ago yeah. that don't really know uh, this man. The impact. And then also the seed of honor. Yes. The seed of honor has not been sown well in their hearts. Right. So they just disrespect and talk a lot about things that they don't understand. Mm. But ladies and gentlemen, from wherever it is that you're watching, yes. let me tell you. The man that you are told about on yes. social media yes. is a totally different man. In, in fact, sometimes you talk, people talk some things about Bishop yeah. and we, we, we wish we would meet that person they are talking about. Right. Because the man that we know, the man that has worked with us, the man that has ministered to us, the man that has raised us is a yeah. totally different man, a very humble man. You know, someone was uh, giving a testimony and was saying that Bishop is the most humble person you will meet. Yeah. And, and I don't know how I had never talk, taken note of that. Mm. Even when he's talking to the gardener, mm. do you know how he would always start his, uh, his uh, statements? Yeah. Please do me a favor yeah. and uh, get me this. Please right. do me a favor mm. and uh, get me a, a cup of tea. Yeah. Those were his words. When he's talking to the great, great of the great, yeah. and when he was talking to the, uh, to to the, the least yeah. among us them. Yeah. So today we gather here to celebrate the life of a really, truly great man. This was and is a great man. His legacy will live forever. And uh, we just want to even encourage uh, the JCC family. Yeah. This is the time for us to stick together. Right. This is the time to, you know, uh, be all, all around mom and, and just let her know that we, we got her back. Mm -hmm. So as a church, Serikali yeah. Ekoimara. Uh, Eh? Serikali Ekoimara, yes. Mama Yetu Nisimba. Nisimba. Mama Yetu yes. Nisimba. Mama Nisimba Kabisa. Yeah. Kivyo, uh, there's no leadership gap. Mm -hmm. You know, our mom is an, uh, you know, the epitome of wisdom and grace. Yes. You know, she's an embodiment of strength. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we continue to celebrate her. And uh, being one of the sons, uh, even as a pastor yeah. uh, with a church, yeah. uh, you know, we got. We got you, ma'am. We got you. We yeah. got you. And as you can see right on your screen, we have the arrival of our senior, senior bishop, uh, Matt Karioke. He's just coming in right now. Uh, and we are encouraging as many of you to come. You can see people are still arriving yeah. uh, from your screens. You can see that uh, there are more, the, uh, and that's Reverend Joyce just uh, accompanying her husband as well. Uh, we thank God because of all these spiritual fathers that are standing with the woman of God. And that's why it's important to be in connection. You have to have a family. You have to have a family because your spiritual family is important. In the day of your need, these are the people that will surround you. These are the people that will lift you up in prayer. So we are grateful for our spiritual fathers. We are grateful for all of them. The other day, Bishop Marcinde preached such a word. Such a 
such a powerful message on the grace of God. Do you know that simple, that simple scripture? <laughs> the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And the way he brought it to us, yeah. it was edible. It was simply edible. And, and we want to really celebrate and honor all the spiritual fathers of the land. Mm -hmm. And even those that are coming here today to just stand with the family of Bishop Kuna, we, we are grateful for them. Yeah. By the way, you know, there is a reason why we need them. Yeah. They are our foundation. Yeah. If we did not have spiritual fathers, mm -hmm. where would we be? man of God. Yeah. We need them because they set the pace for us. And so we are celebrating them today. As much as we're celebrating Bishop Allen, we also celebrate our spiritual fathers. B Bishop Kuna is also a father in this land, though from another generation. Yeah. He's a patriarch also, yeah. but from another generation, not from this other generation that we have just seen coming in. And he has left an indelible mark in this country, in the nations of the earth. Bishop has sons and daughters in America, mm. in the United Kingdom, in Dubai, mm. in many countries. There are places where people know of his impact. Yeah. People who can say, I don't know him just as a pastor. Yeah. I know this man as more than a pastor. Yeah. We have another man of God coming in. That's Bishop Mudair is just walking in right now. And uh, we thank God as well. This is a senior bishop in the land as well that is just coming in. Is just coming in right now. That's Bishop Mudair walking in. Uh, we celebrate him as well. We celebrate him as well. Wow. Yep. So, Asante Nisana, everybody that is joining us, Karibu Nisana. Yeah. We are happy that you are here. Uh, you know, our guests uh, in the main auditorium, you know, as we continue to settle down, our ushers are doing a good job. And uh, the pictures that you are watching on the screen right now mm. is, uh, you know, the, the, the procession uh, uh, of the body of our father, you know, headed here, right here in Campbell Road. Uh, you know, we are... Uh, behind a uh, quick mart supermarket and uh, that is where the celebration service of our beloved bishop is going to be happening we are continuing to receive uh, high profile guests uh, you know both uh, from spiritual uh, from the uh, you know from the church yes. and we are also receiving very high profile uh, guests uh, from the government you know he is uh, a man that you know his impact cut across not just uh, in the christian circles yes. but uh, his uh, impact has also been felt uh, so greatly Yes. Even uh, uh, you know in uh, in the in the government circles, yes. and uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. So, ladies and gentlemen, sit put, continue to um, you know just make intercession. I think today we need a double yes. measure yes. of the grace of God, as uh, Bishop JB you know ministered on Monday. Right. We need a double portion of uh, the grace of God, yes. and uh, uh, but, but you know you know God God got us. You know God is with That's us. Right. God God is with us. So, ladies and gentlemen, we continue to come in. Karibuni Sana, even those that are watching us from across the globe, uh, please, uh, you know, just stay with us. It, it's going to be an amazing day. The weather is beautiful. Security is tight. You know, everything is uh, up and ready, uh, you know, for this uh, particular celebration service of our Father. Once again, from wherever it is that you're watching us from, yes. if you'd want to uh, make it here on Kiambu Road. I saw some, some crazy <laughs> uh, blogger. Yeah. had written saying that uh, the the barrier of our bishop is a private barrier it's no, not it's a private not. barrier you know i was involved uh, you know with the setup yes. of the of the tent and we've put close to 10000 seats. So yeah. that is to mean there is a seat for you and uh, there is a seat for your neighbor and your neighbor's neighbor. So right. uh, if uh, you know, I know right. he was a public figure right. and therefore mna karibishwa sana even as we continue to celebrate and wait uh, for the body of our father to get right here on the ground. Wale to make it yuko kwa hema uh, to relax mm. eh, relax to ongea na rafiki yako hapo juana na yeye uh, juani nani huyo umeketi na yeye namna hiyo namna hiyo na ninajua tutaweza kubarikiwa sana uh, in the name of Jesus our spiritual fathers are continuing to to stream in right. you know i think that is uh, bishop kibarabara you know yeah. uh, you know so the fathers of the land are here uh, to honor and uh, you know pay their last respect for our our father so 
we continue to receive uh, high profile guests you know i see my father's brother uh, pastor bob uh, is also just walking in and so twendele tu kujitayarisha kwa sababu in just in not so long uh, the body of our father is going to arrive here and the ceremony is going to begin officially and you know uh, pastor rafian even as you're speaking what's coming to my mind is the fact that many young people go out there to look for role models oh. But we are proud to say that even as the younger generation, yeah, we are not Gen Zs, but we, we, we are there. We're there. We, we are not too old. We, 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 don't, we don't want to force issues. No, we are not forcing issues. We are there. But we have a role model. Yeah. God gave us a 